Welcome back to America Day here at Tainan Municipal Baseball Stadium. And uh, after listening to the Take Me Out to the Ball Game, the very classic baseball song from the United States, we will have a first pitch ceremony. And uh, we have Chen, Chen Ming Wang, Wang Jianming, as a today's pitcher who will start out to throw the first pitch of the game. Jimmy Wong is a Taiwanese former professional baseball pitcher. He played in Major League Baseball for the New York Yankees, Washington Nationals, Toronto Blue Jays, and Kansas City Royals. He has played for the Taiwan National Baseball Team, too. And he is the current guest pitching coach for the Brothers Second Squad. And he's wearing his old uniform, number 40, the pink stripes. New York Yankees pitcher is coming up to the mound. And Hong Ching Kuo will serve as the hitter for this first pitch. He actually hit a home run back in the majors 14 years ago as a Dodger. And Liu Bojun, she's going to be the home play umpire for the first pitch. She became the first female baseball umpire in Taiwan after getting her start as volunteer in Little League. And since 2006, Liu, has, Liu Bojun has umpired for WBSC tournaments in Venezuela, South Korea, and Hong Kong. And she has published five books about her experiences. And her story inspired the documentary, She's an Umpire. And the catcher for today's first pitch ceremony will be the former catcher of the Lions, Gao Zhigang. So everybody in the stadium is very looking forward to this first pitch by Chen Ming Wang. Let's see if he can throw a strike. His classic windup. Strike, and that's the first pitch ceremony. Great event here at Tainan Municipal Baseball Stadium. What a great moment. You see all these Taiwanese baseball legends lining up together. Hong Ching Kuo, he was a former Los Angeles Dodger pitcher, and uh, he posted an ERA of 1.20 back in 2010 as a reliever. He was very dominant. Also, Chen Ming Wang was also a very dominant starter in the majors back in 2006 and 2007, 2007 when he got 19 wins each of those two seasons. So all of our distinguished guests will go up to the field for a group photo. As you can see on the screen, Tainan City Mayor Hong Weizhe, also Vice President William Lai. They will pose a picture with the Taiwanese baseball legends Chen Ming Wang, Hong Ching Kuo, Liu Bojun, and Gao Zhigang. American Institute Taiwan is holding this America Day event here in Tainan Municipal. 
Municipal Baseball Stadium. And uh, all the fans here are very excited about this. And actually, we also have a, a similar event held in the United States. Uh, tai Taiwan Day held in City Field by the New York Mets. It's an annual event. So for those international viewers who are in the United States, if you are curious about that, you can also participate in Taiwan Day events in the future days. I think they will continue to hold that event. And later on, we will have a interview with the director of American Institute in Taiwan, Mr. William Brent uh, Christensen. It's a pre-game interview with the with the distinguished guest, Mr. Christensen, and let's see what he has to say about his connection with baseball and uh, this America Day event. Hello everyone, I'm Earth Day. Welcome to the pre-game show today. We have one special guest, the director of the AIT, Director Christensen. Hello, Mr. Christensen, how are you today? Doing well, Earth Shed. It's great to be here, thank you. Okay, I'm also excited to have a chance to make an interview with you. The first question will be, any specific reason behind the decision to hold the National Day celebration in CPBL again? Well, as you know, things are a little different this year, and um, we noticed that uh, the Tainan, the Tainan Stadium, was going to be uh, hosting a baseball game. And, you know, there, we have this Taiwan and the uh, United States have a, uh, a shared love of, of baseball. Yes. So we thought we'd take advantage of this opportunity to, uh, to do our 4th of July event here in Tainan uh, with our friends in southern Taiwan. You mentioned about the Tainan Stadium. Why you choose the uh, home park of the Uni Lions to hold the celebration? Well, it's um, you know we think the CPBL has has really done a great job in making its games available to uh, to the United States and other viewers around the world. Um, so we uh, we decided that um, um, this would be a, a great place to do it. Uh, it's not necessarily because of of the Yuna Lions, uh, you may remember I, I uh, visited Taoyuan, uh, the home of the Rakuten uh, uh, monkeys. Uh, but um, you know, I have a, I myself have a special affection for Tainan. I once lived here, uh, and it's always good to come back to a place I, I once called home. So you must enjoy the food in Tainan. How about the weather? Uh, <laughs> The weather can be a little warm at times, but I think we're going to have a great day today. Okay, so who is your favorite baseball player, and what's the most fascinating thing about the baseball in your mind? Well, baseball. Well, let me let me first comment on my favorite player. Uh, my favorite player is, I think, Bryce Harper. Okay. Uh, Bryce Harper From, uh, is. Philadelphia. Uh, he's with Philadelphia now, uh, but when I first met him, he was with the uh, with the Nationals. And I actually had an, uh, an opportunity to, to meet him. Um, he's just a super nice guy, but he's tremendously talented. And um, it was, um, you know, I think that his coming to Washington helped uh, the Nationals really build out their fan base. So um, anyway, he's really a, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Bryce. Do Hall. you like his hairstyle right now? Uh, well. Frankly, I think if you can grow hair like that, you should uh, you should take advantage of it. <laughs> okay. And finally, any further information you want to share to the audience? Well, I just want to highlight how um, you know this event really demonstrates the strength uh, and the importance of the U.S.-Taiwan relationship and our shared values. So I think that's what we. I really that's the message I really want want to uh, want to convey today. Okay, thank you, Mr. Christensen. Hopefully, you enjoyed the game today. I think we'll have a great time. Thank you very much.
President Lions Baseball is brought to you by Eleven Sports Taiwan. This is Jack Lee alongside our color commentator Tom Jellies. We are at the top of the fourth for the brothers' offense. And we can see cute mascots are dancing to the music of YNCA, a very classical song. And even some Taiwanese fans in the stands are dancing to the music. Now. 那那呢，在这一局开始，我们会一直像这样子来进行美式的应援，也希望现场所有球迷朋友可以从这局开始，让我们来感受美国职棒的热情。那接下来呢，在草皮区要进行的就是我们超级可爱所有吉祥物要来进行赛跑啦。那呢，相信大家一定都各有拥护者，让我来听一下小翔的粉丝在哪里。今天的赛跑比赛倒数三、二、一，开始！哎哎，他们在干嘛？哎呀，小翔跟大人作弊哦！小翔跟大人怎么欺负鱼头君呢？他可是全世界最红的石墨鱼！哎，怎么这样子？是哎，赢了！你赢了吗？不好意思，那个是假的。你要申请电视补助判决吗？好啊，可以啊，你看一下，你看一下，我个人觉得赢的人是莱恩呐，哎，觉得是莱恩赢的，尖叫声在哪里？小翔，看来你的电视补助判决是没有用。Welcome to Taiwan Municipal Baseball Stadium. Uh, during the mid-inning break, we have our mascot running competition. But look what they did to Saba Boy. That wasn't fair. Xiao Xiang, the brother's mascot, took the hat off Saba Boy and actually deceived Saba Boy because that wasn't the real finishing line. However, in the end, Ryan the Lion, the lion's mascot, actually took the victory. As I predicted, I think I said that Ryan the Lion was new in it. Family's coming out to the ballpark, getting to enjoy a day off, and uh, hopefully watch us, you know, win a series tonight. Dodger fans, Dodger fans, please welcome the flight and ground crew of the California Air National Guard's 144th Fighter Wing, who provided us with a thrilling flyover during the national anthem. Presenting our colors for this afternoon's game, our members from all service of the Guard, representing each of the branches of the United States military. Men and women overseas, you know, we can't thank them enough. We couldn't be playing this game without them over there, you know, fighting for our freedom. And, you know, like I said, I can't thank them enough. 透过这支影片呢，再次的要来祝福我们美国国庆日生日快乐啦！好，那呢，在今天美国日 home run 的中场时间，有没有看到我们几位超级可爱的吉祥物已经在看台上玩很久了？那其实呢，他们为大家准备了一段很精彩的舞蹈表演，所以邀请我们在走到前面的球迷朋友，请赶快呢，尽速回到你的位置上，让所有的球迷朋友都可以看到我们可爱吉祥物们的表演，好不好？好，那接下来
我们要特别欢迎的就是我们中信兄弟的小虾、于同军、莱恩，以及我们 c p b o 的吉祥物欧告，一起为大家带来精彩的舞蹈表演，掌声欢迎他们！ Just. 